everyone. Hello. Welcome back. I thought I'd do part two on this because after I finished the last upload celebrating our anniversary together, I realized that I could have been it's a tad bit in my view. It's maybe it's in my own head. In my view, just a little bit more encouraging towards um, stepping out there on something that you'd like to achieve, acquire in your career or in your relationship. I felt like I could have just added a little more. So here I am to add a little more flavor <laughs> from my point of view, add a little bit more flavor. So happy anniversary to us. And I want to share this. I have done a post or two or three maybe before in the past because every July I do an anniversary post. And I know that I've spoken about the struggle that or the challenge that I had when I published my first book because I had never published a book. I'd always wanted to. I'd always been, I've always been a writer. I've all, in my head, in my mind, I, I'm very pensive that way. So I'd always wanted to, but I just never conjured up any effort towards it. And so here I was ready to do that, but I knew no one who personally had written a book before. And I think that I had, I know that I posted this before. I might search for that link and drop it in the, actually, I will do that. Uh, drop it in the description box. But whatever your thing is, even if no one's done it before, doesn't mean you can't. And it doesn't mean that it'll be just a walk in the park. There will be peaks and valleys, humps and bumps, setbacks and forward progress on, on your project as you learn to perfect it. This channel is one. I didn't know anyone who had a channel. I, I watched many YouTube channels and subscribed to them, but I didn't know anyone who had one. And so I'm saying you can pioneer your own life and start your own thing, whether it's whether you're a chef, whether you're a, a musician, uh, whatever you want to do in addition to your work. You know, in addition to your work or to supplement your work or to transition you from transition you from your work, you go, child. Uh, follow that through. So here was my story on my, so here are my books. Here are my, here are my books. And I'm proud of my books now, but let me tell you about it. <laughs> let me tell you about it. When you start your thing, whatever your thing is, typically we're working from a a place of passion for that thing. Again, whatever it is, cooking, writing, teaching, music, whatever. You're passionate about it. But when you start moving into it, the effort of it to get it going, it becomes a business of its own. And you have to manage that piece. Now, you, you think we think we know that until we actually have to do that. To publish these books, are far more beyond just writing these books. The writing was the fun part. Um, then came the publication, the copywriting, the selecting of the of of the, the, the even the the back leaf, the choosing of the colors. It all it's a lot if you're going to self publish. And it can feel daunting. Now, I have a good swing on it now, but I had to write four or five books to get there. <laughs> to get there. <laughs> and so will you, but you can do it. Now I'm not afraid of that. I recall, and I did do a, like I said, a video before on this, late nights and working after work. And then, of course, Murphy's Law, the computer would crash or there'd be something, the screen would freeze or just some kind of thing to mess with my energy. But you don't come for the energy. I know how to positive that back out. But it came, nonetheless. It came. Um, and staying up late and running out of some supply and having to run to Staples or getting hungry and forgot to cook and having to run out to to get something. These things are a part of it. But I know for me, I recall one night where I was just so frustrated with my first book 
that I really began to cry. Like I, I was like, oh my gosh, this is the worst. I'm sorry. But I was too far into it to go back, to just let it sit. I felt like it needed to reach its birthing point. And it felt, it literally felt like labor pains, like a labor of love pains. Nothing, everything that I would click would crash or, or it wouldn't meet the standards. And I'd have to pull it back or I would view it one way, I would upload it and it would come back looking at it. It was disastrous for a long time. Until finally I, I called on a friend of mine who was a valedictorian of our high school. And she had written like 40, 50 books. She was just breezing through books. And she walked me through and talked me through. And she finally said to me, Sherry, there's nothing else I can say. You've got this. You just don't realize you've got this. And when she said that, it's like the borders just opened up. I said, I do. She said, you do. She said, you don't need to call me. Just do it. And so I did. Now, what happened was I published this one. This was my first book. And I thought it was okay. I was proud. I was proud. I got a book. I got a book. But when I released it, I wasn't aware enough. I wouldn't say smart enough. I just wasn't aware enough to first get draft copies and go through fine tune what it actually would look like in book format. I saw it on the screen. The book format was messed up, y'all. It was jacked up. It was like, what? <laughs> I <did. laughs> But that time I was so proud of it. I had, I had made the, you know, I had made the news out there about it on social media and everybody was buying it. I was trying to. At first, I was encouraging them to buy it. Then I was like, no, don't buy it. Buy it. Don't buy it. Buy it. Don't buy it. And I had to pull it back. And so I called this valedictorian friend of mine who has all these books. And I said, how do I stop it? <laughs> how do I stop it? I don't want to sell that. And she said, you're the author of it. You created it. You can cancel it all together if you want to. You can stop it. You can change it. You can do it. It's your baby. And she walked me through that. Now, I was able to, to um, stop the release forward, but so many had been published. And I took it upon myself through the re-edition of that book became, became this book. I even changed the title. It became this book, Much Better, Much Nicer. It went from this same content same content, but this was the look. I wanted the look to change so there'd be no confusion between the two books. There'd be no, conf and the title change. Very few people have this. If they got it, you better keep it because I re I stopped it. I'm saying that to say this, all those frustrations happened to show me what not to do moving forward. I would never, I could catch it like that now and it ain't gonna make me cry. Uh-uh. I ain't gonna cry. But then I could not. And I was so proud and, and still am so proud of this one and all of my books that it didn't make me stop. I kept goating, what I call goating, G-O-A-T, goat on. I kept goating on. I kept, I kept climbing. I kept going. I kept, I wouldn't stop. And once I had my book, and my YouTube channel, I would, a horrible marker, but I would promote my books on my YouTube channel. And this was the last one. And then employers may be interested in that. And I got a couple of interviews um, on other channels. And from that came two or three digital magazine articles from that. So I'm saying all of that to you to say this. The struggle is real, but and the journey can be challenging, but the achievement is yours. It can be done. And I'm proud of this work now. I'm very I'm very proud of this work now. I'm very proud of this work now. What it what it morphed into now, I'm very proud of this work. And you can too, whatever, whatever it is. 
Now, again, I said in the last post, don't confuse fame with success. You could be great in your organic role. But how would you be if you do nothing with it? So do something with it. Great in your organic role is great in your household. Great in your organic role is great on your job. Great in your organic role is great in your community. God knows we need some positive people out there right now. That's your organic role. God knows we need some people who carry an energy that's attractive and inviting and is not exclusive, but inclusive. God knows that. That's your organic role. And no one will not see it. So there you go. Shine your light so bright that everyone would see it. And be so grateful to even have it. Don't not do it is what I'm saying. And that's why I created this second post. Don't not do it. Read my About You section on my um, YouTube page, on my channel. And you'll see all those references that I made along the way. A person who had never, ever done it before. And a person who was, who was not then and who is not now, overly committed to social media. I, I managed my life away from social media. I didn't even, didn't even have Facebook. <laughs> I didn't even have a Facebook until 2017. And I had shared that. That's because I was working on a project for our, our family's nonprofit. And we have an annual day. And I was involved with that. And everybody would say, put it on your Facebook. I said, bro, I don't have a Facebook. They said, we can help you get one, get some friends. And I, I got some, I got a lot, I got a lot of friends. Um, and so because you haven't done it, doesn't mean it can't be done by you. And so I hope that you do it. And I hope that you continue to do it as long as it's enjoyable to you. Always do what's enjoyable to you because you make a difference in this life. And I love you. If you've gotten this far, please click like. Please share with a friend. Please subscribe. If you haven't yet, you can subscribe right now. See you next time. Bye.